I'm going to bring up our second to the last speaker of the evening. And uh, boy, this gentleman is from Charlotte, North Carolina, where EXP uh, four years ago was nothing. Today we are number one in every single category there is for real estate is EXP. Give yourselves a hand. It happens Sacramento, same in Sacramento. It just is what it is. We are taking over and it's about our kids. It's about families. That's the cool thing. It's not about Rilogy or some other, I, I won't say compass. Now, so cool thing, I was asking Rich, I go, Rich, tell me something cool about your childhood. Did you, did you win a, a watermelon eating contest? Did you fall off a tree picking apples? Did you hit the game winning home run? Did you win a spelling bee? Are you a ping pong champion? Tell me something cool. And he goes, man, I, I, don't, I don't have anything, <laughs> you know, nothing unique. I go, come on, there's got to be something. He goes, well, I don't normally tell people this, but there is something different. I go, tell me, I won't tell anybody. <laughs> and he goes, my babysitter was a struggling artist. My dad was a biker, hair down here, just a wild man. And he had a friend who was just playing her guitar. And, and she was so broke, she had to babysit just to put gas in the tank. I go, okay, that's kind of cool. And I go, who was it? He goes, Cindy Lauper. <laughs> so his babysitter was Cindy Lauper. Her, 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 uh, Cindy Lauper's guitarist, Rich, he's named after Cindy Lauper's guitarist. So help me welcome from Charlotte, North Carolina, Rich Tomasini, everybody! Woo! So there's another company in Austin, Texas right now teaching a big room of people like you guys how to make them richer. <laughs> We're here in Dallas and Glenn's saying take 50% of the gross revenue and we're gonna teach you how to take it back. <laughs> big distinction. So I went to public school so I don't know how to create slides. I don't know how to scale a hero. It's a teamwork thing here. So I listened in the back row because I didn't know if I had that little pin that I could sit up front. But I'm a back of the bus kind of guy anyway, so I felt comfortable back there, all you guys. And uh, I was just thinking, you know, there's so many nuggets you can get out of all these speakers. And there's action steps. And there's all these different things. And the one thing that I don't think anybody talked about was about how I feel right now. I'm scared out of my mind. <laughs> I don't like doing this. And I'm not alone. You guys are scared too. You know why? You're scared of taking your reputation and being vulnerable and having somebody tell you that they're not interested or they don't want to talk to you. And that's preventing everything that this company can offer you. So I'll tell you a couple little things that were going through my mind. One, there were so many impressive people on this stage that I was thinking here, and I have a decent sized group, I don't know if I could do that. I'm not a unicorn. I'm not a celebrity. I didn't do $50,000 masterminds with all these great names. I don't even like realtors. <laughs> so how in the heck am I gonna build a revenue share while I was in enough pain to shed my ego and call some people? I don't know any of my level ones until the last five years next week. These were total cold conversations. Now, the way that we grew EXP five years ago is not the way that we're going to 500,000, okay? Have you heard about EXP? Everybody's heard about EXP. We've annoyed them. <laughs> it's a different conversation now. The church that starts in your living room at Bible study is different than what Joel Olstein's doing. 
It takes a different preacher, it takes a different message, and it takes a new, fresh line of talent to get there. I'm all dried up, guys. It's you. You guys are the future of this company. And what's going to happen is not that every agent's going to get 12 agents. Although, God, I hope if Glenn can figure out how to do that, and he's figured out almost all the things I could never even believe, that's important. What's going to probably happen is that some of you are going to get tons of agents. And the rest of you are going to take all these notes, and you're going to go home, and you're going to go into inaction because you're scared. And you guys, this is for you. I'm talking to you. So you have three options when you let fear overwhelm you. The first option that you have is that you look dead at the mirror and you say, I'm going to do this. I mean, I need to have dignity. Like, I can't live in fear. I've got two kids. You know, here's the bad thing about working at a virtual real estate company is I reproduced twice in my 40s, <laughs> right? <laughs> working at home has its drawbacks. So I, I can tell you right now, big, big problem, guys, right? I'm in my 40s, which means that when my kids, my two boys are my age, I'll be in my 80s. So I'm going to give them a head start. They've got a $1.2 million revenue share head start on all the other kids in their classroom. They got a father who doesn't miss a football game. I know their exact schedule. If my wife goes away for two weeks, first of all, I'm panicked. But I know every single thing that has to happen, right? Hands on. And you can't do that in production. So we can go out there like, any, like another company is doing right now and teach you on how to take the one life that you're sure that you have and work it away. So we're at Build 22, and I'm not talking about production. Even though we run the number one brokerage in Charlotte MLS, not me. I haven't sold a house in three years. I've heard that too, by the way. Oh, Rich, why would I sign up underneath you? You haven't sold a house in three years. I'm, I still got paid on 1,100 transactions last month. Like, you know, what are you doing, right? So <laughs> there's a couple things that are very, very important here. If my sponsor, Bill Price, was too scared to call me, None of this happens. Keely Tays, Nakia Evans, these are agents that I brought over directly. These are my closest friends. All of their transformational lives doesn't happen. The people that they help transform, it doesn't happen. Because Bill was too scared to call me. Now, when I came over, I watched a couple grainy videos of Rob Flick, Gene Frederick, and Brent Cove. I didn't need magical dust and a circus and elephants running down a room and beautiful PowerPoint slides. I listened to three people that forgot more than I know talk about the model. I went home and I said, I don't know what this is, but I'm doing it. <laughs> All right? So remember, you're not only penalizing yourself, you're penalizing your reach. I mean, if, he, if, if Bill didn't call me up, like, I would still be in production on my 24th year. You know how you get this hair color? <laughs> 104 short sales in a downturn. All right, so what's going to happen, right? The real estate market's changed. Everybody's nervous. Chill out. If you looked at the real estate market two years ago, it was like going into a classroom where the teacher stepped out for 30 minutes and kids are writing on their face with magic markers and throwing chairs. <laughs> and you guys wanted to do business in that classroom? Forget about it. It's brain damage. Okay? This is a market where intelligent people do things. Yeah. Stable market. Okay? So if I could get 100% of the historical price of my house three months ago, or I could get 92% of it right now, is that a loss? If everything in your whole life you got 92% success at, you would be just sparkling around all day long. <laughs> We're in a good market. We're in a short recession. This isn't the end of the world. This is where we separate. Compass has got nine months till they run out of money. Keller Williams is dead on arrival. <laughs> Gary Keller stopped sending me Christmas cards five years ago. <laughs> they are losing so slowly that he says they're winning. 
Some of you guys are getting some bad habits, guys. You're punching down. You punch up. All right? They got 130, 40,000 agents. We grab 30,000 agents. You bring them over here, we even up. <laughs> easiest, easiest example for, oh, I got a clock here. Easiest example for profit share versus revenue share is imagine having to pay taxes on your gross income without any of your deductions. <laughs> this trip, okay? We're talking about, you know, pounds and pennies, guys. It's a pretty simple thing. The conversation now, it's 2022. I'm 45 years old, I got a six-year-old, a three-year-old, I got a lot of friends in this audience. Hey, my last brokerage, they sat me in a, in a I'm, I live in the South, so you can see I didn't go over well. They put me in an office which a, with a bunch of Southern women, and they were wondering why I wasn't succeeding because these women looked at me like I was an alien, <laughs> right? And I was like, my God, imagine if there was a real estate company where I could choose all the people that I wanted to work with. Oh yeah, it's called revenue share. It's pretty cool, right? No investment. So the conversation today is very, very simple. I can do things at my brokerage you can't do. <laughs> so I got a little bit of infamy on simplifying the model. So I don't have enough time to give you guys action steps. If you guys want to train with me, go on Workplace. You train with me for free. I don't care who you signed up under. I don't care how great or disconnected or if they passed away. I am a shareholder and you're a shareholder. We are partners here, okay? I want you to beat me. I'm not in a race to be more wealthy than Tony Robbins. I'm in a race to have the life that I want and be able to enjoy it. And I want you guys to get into that race. And you got to get over fear. Okay? I know you're scared. I'm scared. I'm not scared anymore, but I was scared like 10 minutes ago. Okay? <laughs> I know you're scared. Work through it. You got a sales license. Don't be afraid to prospect. Take action now. Is that Gary? Got it tattooed on his arm. Tan. You guys have a lot on your shoulders, and you're going to either take action or you're going to say, revenue share is not for me, and you're going to go sell real estate, and that's what most of you, us do, and that's fine. But what I don't want you to do is to not take action and not divorce the idea of this awesome opportunity and carry around that guilt and look at us on stage and think, my God, I know I could beat those guys. That's the worst thing you can do, is to not take action and not release it. Carry it around like a guilty thousand pound stone for the next two weeks. You got the notes. We got 50 hours of training in the cloud. Glenn set up everything for us. And guess what? While Glenn set up everything for us and iterated a model that is revolutionary and will never be beat, Gene Frederick, Rob Flick, and Brent Go showed us how to sell this thing. We have the Mount Rushmore of people that have been working behind the scenes to do events like this. And then you have the mastermind of Glenn, and then you have all of us. You know when I looked at the stage? I looked at our teachers versus other companies' teachers. How much did it cost you? You guys pay for a bold class today? <laughs> cost you to get here. I mean, these things aren't cheap. Glenn, you know, Brent risks money every time he does this. It's worth it. We're shareholders, okay? So the message now is, Listen, I'm not a leadership coach. I hired one. If you don't have a coach and you're planning on doing something exceptional, then go talk to anybody that ever went out for the Olympics or did any, you know, Terrence Murphy, I thought he was dynamite yesterday. He's gonna roll you over. He's gonna mow you down, right? I don't wanna take a listing against Terrence Murphy, but when it comes down to revenue, star, revenue share, take off your shirt, bro. <laughs> you got a size advantage, but I practice this every day. We're ready to go. So the conversation now is radically different. The conversation is, listen, I am a living, walking example of what EXP does. I sell houses. I have the largest referral network ever created in the world. 
called Workplace. We have almost 2,000 agents in real time in every time zone across the globe helping support us. The top earners at the company are our teachers for free, and we have 40,000 archived hours of education. If you're not plugging in, the toast doesn't come out, okay? So we have the ability to do anything we want here. So if you decide that you came to build 22 to build revenue share, have a conversation. So the way that I learned, so my little six-year-old son is in karate class, and he's dynamite. And leadership to six-year-olds is that you have to be the example. You have to behave well. You have to sell real estate. You can't post things when you're drinking on Facebook. <laughs> you have to share the story of how the stock went from $2.87 a share when I came over to splitting, and EXP gifted me tens of thousands of shares of stock for doing what I used to do for trophies. <laughs> Keep your trophies. Can't sell them at a garage sale. It's got your name on it. <laughs> so we have 47 seconds. Everybody is scared. That's the one thing we haven't talked about today. Everybody's scared. So do you go in a fetal position or do you rage against it? Find the courage, lean on the people around you. So I have 26 seconds and I'm gonna say this last very most important thing. My level ones have all been on stage before I have. That is a huge accomplishment for me. Keely Tays, I love you. I don't know where you are. Nakia Evans, I chase people like Nakia Evans, right? Go out there and do this. It's your entire world. Make it however you want. Thank you.